With the model of the habitat complete, now it's time to start sharing the design. First, we'll enter the render workspace to begin creating a rendered image of the design. After selecting the render workspace, you'll see the environment changes. We can then go to Scene Setup and start making other modifications, such as changing the background color of the scene. You can also use the environment which provides the lighting as the background. After setting the color to a gray to resemble the moon, I'll just change the position of the space station in the environment by using the position bar. At any time, I can also change how I'm looking at the model. With some final adjustments to the lighting, I'll change the aspect ratio to 4 by 3. Then, I can turn the position control off. Switching over to the Environment Library tab, I could choose another scene environment if I wanted to. In this case, I'll just try using this environment. With the scene looking how I think I want it to, I'll close the Scene Settings dialog. Now I'll go back up to the toolbar and start the In Canvas Render tool. The In Canvas Render tool will generate a rendering iteration by iteration over time that will allow me to see if my lighting and environment settings are what I want. If I leave it go, it will achieve an excellent, final, or I can set it to infinite to just let the iterations keep generating. If I'm satisfied with the way the rendered image looks, I can save it as an image file to my project or even to my computer to send to others. I'll simply give the file a name, set its destination, and the image will be created. If I want to create a larger or higher resolution image, I can use the secondary render tool inside of Fusion 360. For now, I'm satisfied with the image and want to focus on sharing the model itself. Returning to the model workspace, I want to prepare to create a 3D print. To create a 3D print of this model in Fusion 360, I need to have one single body instead of all of the separate bodies I've been creating. I'll go to the Modify pull-down and select the Combine tool. I'll choose the body that makes the control module as my target body, and then select all of the other bodies as tool bodies. Once I have them all selected, in this case I'll use the browser, I click OK to generate that single body. I can rename the body if I want to Ready for 3D Printing, and then go to the Make pull-down and select 3D Print. From here I can direct the output to a 3D printer, or for this output, I'm not focused on creating a 3D print. Instead, I want to create a file that I can have imported into Minecraft. I'll set the resolution to low and click OK. Then I'll select a destination and give a name to my file. Once the file has been created, I can switch over to Tinkercad to take advantage of the interface that Tinkercad has for working with Minecraft. In Tinkercad, I'll select Import, Find my STL file and click Open. This will bring the model into the Tinkercad environment. If I need to, I can rotate and reposition the model so it will align properly when I output it from Tinkercad. To see more about how to export from Tinkercad to Minecraft, see the tutorial in this project.